Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the unconventional attorney and the owner of CMS Law Firm. And today I want to talk to you about turning off your Facebook privacy and Instagram privacy settings, for that matter. Add Instagram in there too. Uh, before I get to that, I want to remind you, if you are not a part of the OMA Accelerator, my sort of group, you're missing out. Okay, if you're a struggling law firm owner, if you need help with marketing, with sales, with getting clients, with productivity, if you just want to have some friends that are law firm owners that understand you, that get you, that you can talk about your problems to and you can get actual feedback, actual uh, sort of constructive help, come hang out with us, okay? It's only $147 a month. There is no, uh, no contracts. It's month to month. You can leave if you don't like it. I hope you don't like it. I hope you do like it. But if you don't, that's fine. Uh, theunconventionalattorney.com forward slash OMA1, the number one. Go check it out. Come and join us, okay? All right. Facebook and Instagram privacy settings. This goes for LinkedIn too. It goes for whatever. All your social media, Twitter, I don't know. Everything that you create should be open for everyone, the entire world, to see. Now, before you get going too far, um, you, you're, you're um, okay. Let's talk about it like this. When people are looking to hire someone, they are looking for someone that they can trust. They're looking for someone that they can relate to. They're looking for someone that is at least a little bit like them um, and you know, has, is a person. The best way for people to find out that you are a person is to check out and creep on your social media profiles. That's why it's really important to unprivatize your things. Um, if you are worried about I don't know. I don't know what you would be worried about when it comes to those privacy settings. Some people don't like people to see pictures of their kids or pictures of whatever. Then don't do that. Okay, create a, a very specific profile um, on Instagram, for example, that just shows your kids that you only have like three people that you invite to. Okay, if you if you um, or don't complain when other people are getting more business than you. Okay, all of these things are a trade off, but your privacy settings are hurting your business. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. I was talking with somebody the other day, um, a new uh, OMA Accelerator member, who was telling me that they don't even have a Facebook profile. And they don't have a Facebook profile because they don't agree with Facebook's uh, sort of stances on issues, which is fine, right? You can you can uh, um, individually protest those kinds of things, uh, um, but you're doing going to do so at the at the expense potentially of your business. And the same is true with the privacy settings on your social media accounts. People want to see that you are, you know, going to, going to baseball games all the time. I'm just thinking about the things that I post. They want to see the thoughts that you have. They want to see the hobbies that you have. They want to see everything. People want to know about you. They want to know who you are. They want to know if they can trust you. Um, you know, they want to know all of it. And if you're, if you are, by the way, ranting and raving on social media anywhere, you should stop doing that anyway, okay? Because nobody cares, <laughs> nobody's listening to you, and you're not making a difference. So if you have very strong political views, um, and you like to just go and sort of share random, crazy political memes and conspiracy theories on your um, social media profiles, you should stop that anyway. But then open them up to the world. Share the things that you actually care about. Share the things that you're working on. Share your hobbies. Share your projects. Share the things that you are frustrated with. Um, share the client wins. Share everything that you do. Um, if you come up with an um, interesting idea related to your practice area, share it. If you win, share it. Um, put all that stuff out there because that is how you will get new clients. They will come to you already knowing who you are, already ready to trust you. Then all you have to do is sort of meet them where they've already been, and that's very easy because you are who you are. You know, if you go check out my Facebook profile, for example, or my Instagram profile, for example, uh, what you see is what you get. You know, I, the same weird woo-woo stuff I talk about here, I talk about on my personal page. You know, the same stuff that I share here, I share everywhere. And so, just remember that when you are thinking about the privacy settings of your Facebook page, just open it up. You know, let people meet you. It's supposed to be social, right? Um, if you're worried about people, I don't know what you're worried about, people stealing your stuff or, or whatever, just get over it, okay? Um, they want to steal your stuff, 
they can no matter what your privacy settings are. All you're doing is showing people that you don't trust them when those privacy settings are notched way up, okay? Um, so that's it. Again, you don't have to do this, it's not a requirement, but it is going to slow down the progress of your law firm over time, all right? That's it. If you guys have questions or comments about this, let me know. If you like this uh, video or this, this podcast, hit the like button. If there's you're somewhere you can subscribe, do it. If there's somewhere you can review, do it. Um, and and um, thanks for listening as always. And if you're a law firm owner and you're struggling, you need help with getting clients, with sales, with marketing, with advertising, with uh, productivity, with hiring, with firing. You know, I've done it all and I talk about all of it inside of the OMA Accelerator and you can be a part of that group for just $147 a month. Um, no contracts, no nothing. So we'd love to have you in there. Come and check it out if you're interested. TheUnconventionalAttorney.com forward slash OMA1, the number one. Um, go learn a little bit more about it there. If you have questions, let me know. And um, as always, I'm Christopher Small. I'm The Unconventional Attorney, also the owner of CMS Law Firm. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.